the uh, the boys skip into the case at a high school and um, at high school happens to be putting on a production of Supernatural. Uh, and it's a supernatural that's based on the novel books by uh, Chuck Shirley and uh, uh, Carver Edlin. And so yeah, it's their interpretation of those books brought to life uh, in the form of uh, some singing uh, and, and occasionally some dancing, a little bit of that. Mostly singing. Mostly singing. So, yeah. That's where things are. Did you th when you wrote the episode, did you think this is how I would write Supernatural if I were a teenage girl in high school? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got really into it. I, I, I went to Hot Topic and I... Uh, no, you know what? For me, it was, it was about just trying to connect with uh, my own sense of being a fan. I, I'm a lifelong fan of like, Marvel comic books and Star Trek and Star Wars. You know, and I think, you know, it's always a great way to you know, express who you are. And so for me, it was just, it was just trying to connect with that part of myself. And, you know, I was really inspired by the movie Rushmore. You know, I think like Max Fisher's, you know, plays that he does in that, you know, they're very clearly fan fiction inspired versions of movies that we all know and love. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to kind of channel those two things, basically. What can you tease about what's coming after 200 for the show? Oh boy, I'm probably not allowed to talk about that. That's probably about my pay grade. Um, <laughs> you know, um, one of the things that Bob and Jerry were talking about is trying to find a way, you know, it's, it's been a tough road, you know, for the Winchesters the last couple of seasons, and we're really trying to kind of let them kind of come back into their own little bit and learn what it means to be a hero again. And so, you know, 4, 5, and 6 are kind of like this little pocket of, of them, you know, kind of a little bit more standalone episodes. Obviously, 5 is like any, it's a unique episode. Um, but yeah, um, and then we're going to be, uh, look, uh, Dean was cured of his demonhood, but Mark Payne is still there, and that's, that, that is going to be a very big problem uh, for the rest of the season. So that, that, yeah. And is there a character on the show that you personally have connected with the most? Uh, of the core group? Yeah. Um, oh gosh, that's like picking, I'm going to say the Impala. You know, it loves classic rock, it loves road trips, um, it has guns. I don't have guns, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a neutral and, and say the Impala. Very cool. Have, have you gotten to sit in the Impala? No, I'm too afraid. Every time I go up there, I'm too afraid. It's like, it's like sitting in the Ark of the Covenant. I can't, it's, no, I, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to even look at it. I, I just walk quickly by it the other direction and, and I, you know, sort of like, you know, throw coins at it, you know, and, 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 and out of respect or something. No, I, I've never sat in the Impala. Nice. I'm not ready yet.